Today the Make It team is here in Liverpool and we've been joined by our friends from the Survitech group, including people from their Birkenhead site, um, which goes under the name RFD Beaufort. Um, our friends include Bob here, who is modelling some pilot flight equipment, which is just one of the many products that Survitech make. We've got teams of pupils from schools across Merseyside competing today to create their own new survival equipment products. And uh, the day's going very well so far. The Dragons have uh, been very impressed with the enthusiasm of the young people and we're all really looking forward to hearing their ideas this afternoon in the Dragons Den pitches. Our team name is Rapid Response. We're selling a housing device which is like deploys and gives everybody the necessities like drinking water, liquid purifiers to drink infected water or just warm clothes just in case it's cold. Uh, we think we're unique because we're the only people which deploy it because we're using like a special mechanism in like the shape of a ball and we think we're going to win. This is uh, really great. The, uh, the, the thing that amazes us is the kids are absolutely enthusiastic. Some real talent coming out, some great ideas. The, uh, the enthusiasm in terms of uh, getting the stuff done and working to schedules, just fantastic. Some great uh, things from our perspective, the team working, the uh, individuals coming up with designs and webs and, and uh, marketing stuff is, uh, is just really quite remarkable. E equally, inputting uh, from our guys in terms of the manufacturing uh, uh, emphasis, seeing some of these guys do this and, and actually feeling and touching stuff I think there's going to be some great stuff coming uh, out of here that really does encapsulate uh, the, the, the stuff that we're trying to put across in terms of manufacturing careers the, uh, and some of the guys I think will really uh, think about the future of manufacturing as a, as a career alternative and hopefully having enjoyed this experience will uh, we'll step forward and, and come into the environmental uh, or into the uh, manufacturing environment. Today I've learned a lot about manufacturing that it's not just a gritty workplace where people make cotton wool or anything like that. It's usually quite clean, there's lots of money, lots of jobs, lots of innovative ideas which you could come up with and selling and there's lots more things than I thought that meet the eye.